there and welcome to the first of my uh, video tutorials for Windows Phone 7. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a basic Windows Phone 7 application in the Silverlight. Um, what you're obviously going to need is Visual Studio twin, um, 2010 and you're going to need the um, Windows Phone SDK for 7.1 which is the Mango. So first thing we're going to do is go File, New, and go project. Then what you're going to want to do is find Silverlight for Windows Phone. You're going to just want to do a Windows Phone application and give it a name. So for now we're going to call it My Application. So it's going to ask us what platform we want to target it for. We're going to want to target it for Windows Phone OS 7.1 which is the Mango release which is the latest at the moment of Windows Phone. And what you're given here is a display of the Windows Phone um, this is more the user interface and you can drag and drop your tools into here and on the right hand side we have the um, coding behind the display so you can hand code what you want to write <coughs> or you can drag and drop your tools so what we're going to do is we're going <coughs> to first of all change the name of the uh, page up here so what you do is just click onto it you go down here and this is the properties area and it tells you this is the page title and it says here text page name which we can clearly see as page name so we're going to just want to change this to my application so as you can see it's changed to here it's gone a bit big but that doesn't matter for now we can we can resize that anyway what we can do here is just go into the properties again and just go to where font size is just take the font down a little bit maybe to 64 okay so that's that now what we're going to do for the first thing in this tutorial is we're just literally going to drag and drop um, a button from the tool section. We're going to put the button to the page and then we're going to choose a text box and we're going to put that down as well. So we now have a text box and a button on our application. What we're going to do is we're going to make it so that whatever is typed into this text box by the user will be displayed in a text block underneath. So this is just showing you how the button click events work and how you can get text and strings from um, things such as the text boxes. So at the moment our text box is called text box 1, our button is called button 1, and now we need to add our text block, which surprisingly will be called text block 1. So let me just open this up. And we're just going to leave it with the text block in here because this is going to change. And in here we're just going to go down to where it says text. And we're just going to take out text box for now and just make sure the box is empty. So to do the button click, if you just double click on a button when you put it into your um, uh, user interface area, it actually brings up the coding for you <coughs> for the button click. And obviously the name of your button is button1 and underscore click is the event that's called. So we've got the, the click here. What we're going to do is we're going to get the text that the user types into this box and we're going to put it in here into this text block. So all we have to do is go to your button click and just type in text box one, which is which comes up here, it shows you. And if you just click if you just then put dot and then you go text, you just want to select text. Um, this is going to then get the text of text box one. So you can do the same thing here with text block. So text block one dot text, and we're going to want to make the text equal to the text that is in text box one. So what we have done quite simply here is we've just said we want to tell we want to set the text block one, which is this bit down here. We want to set the text of that to the text of text box one, which is here. So we can go ahead and see if this works with save our application if you just want to click start debugging and this will obviously start up the Windows Phone emulator okay so now you can see your application has opened and like we made in the uh, interface for the for the application you can now see where you put down your button where you put down your text block and where you put down your text box so in the text box we're just going to type in hello world Now if we press the button, our text block has changed to the text that was up here. So if we add something else into here, like an exclamation mark for instance, it will update down here when you press the button. 
So that is simply how you um, create an application and run it using the Windows Phone emulator. Thanks guys, be sure to uh, subscribe and check out my other videos.